All right, so um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to erase Ubuntu off your machine and uh, restoring the grub menu configure, whatever, just so you can get Windows 7 uh, back up and booting. So let me just tell you what you're gonna need real quick. Um, you're gonna need a USB stick, uh, at least two gigabytes, um, universal USB installer, you can download that. It's an open source Linux product and a Windows recovery ISO or just a Windows recovery disk and you can skip part of this video. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we're gonna go into here and we're gonna go into computer, manage, Okay, now while that's doing this thing, we're going to open up Universal USB Installer. Click Yes. Hit I Agree. And we're going to scroll down to Windows 7 Installer. And I'm going to browse to my Windows 7 64 bit repair disk. Make sure that if you got Windows, if you got the 64, then use 64. If you got 32 bit, use 32 bit. So double click that. Okay. I only got one drive. I'm going to hit format and hit create. Yes. All right. So while we're waiting for that to do its thing, we're going to double click disk management over here. Okay, so we click here and we notice we got a healthy primary partition, so I'm going to delete that volume. Okay, and the reason that I knew that it wasn't uh, the Windows system is because A, the recovery, first off, Windows doesn't know what Linux systems are, I guess, but um, this has a name for it, recovery partition. This is healthy system, active primary partition. Then we got this right here. And that's the one, that's C drive that we're on right now. Okay. So we've deleted that. Let's go ahead and extend volume. Okay, so that's back to where it needs to be at. Now we can get up out of there. And just as we get done with that, this is done right here. Um, one little bit of advice um, is that I'm restarting my, well first up before I didn't say anything, I'm gonna restart my machine right quick. Um, you either have to push F2 or F12, depends on what you've set up. Okay, one bit of advice is, before you delete those partitions, I usually like to check to make sure that my USB pen drive is working. That way you're able to boot. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So it's showing the only system on here is Windows 7. So let's go ahead and hit next. Then we're gonna go to command prompt. All right. Now in command prompt, we're gonna type F, excuse me. Boot rec space 
backslash f i x m b r operation completed successfully whoops what was that all about boot rec slash fix boot operation completed successfully Okay, now let's go ahead and go right here and hit restart. Make sure everything went well. And everything went well, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this helps people restore the system after installing Ubuntu.